Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finals of the North American Zeke Weekly, uh, daily, sorry, of the 3rd of November, 2011. I am Penguin. And I am Sean, a little bit of a Freudian slip there from uh, Penguin. We're going to be seeing here in the bottom left, the Yellow Terran SPS Corinthos. And Corinthos. in the top left... We have uh, the Baller Brotoss. Uh, what's his name? His name Plato. is the Green Baller Brotoss. And his name is? And his name is? Plato. Plato. And as we know, Plato. he loves to, just absolutely loves the taste of Terran Tears. He laps them up, with the exception of the last game that he played, which was a PvP. Every single game he's played in this tournament has been a PvT. He has won them all. And th this man is just very has. strong in his PBT, and it'll be very interesting to see whether SPS Corinthos will be able to take him out. Plato Indeed. just no double PM. checking. <laughs> Apparently, Plato knows Corinthos from the ladder. For a bit of uh, pretty he interesting. Saying, there. He was saying he was saying in, in 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 the lobby that he hasn't blocked. So maybe uh, maybe trying for a little bit of an agreement here, but uh, I don't know. I guess there's some history. Oh, the there's a bit of a. Ladder. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, we have a little bit of the argument here. Corinthos Are we and Plato. Are going to see some VM? Are, is that what we're going to see? Cause, uh, I think we might. I mean, officially as casters, we are... We are no, no, that was the second game. Oh, so they both BM'd each other on ladder. Fantastic. <laughs> then we're even. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay, uh, these two players are baller. As a, as a caster, yeah. I am very, very much uh, in support of, of fair play, clean play. And uh, BM being bad, uh, unofficially as a caster, I just love to see some some Who bad manner going BM? down in there. So I will not be sorry to see you go <laughs> either way. Disclaimer: We do not support bad manner, but we love it anyway. Um, Official disclaimer: We love bad manner. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, moving right along. However, <laughs> we're we're gonna be seeing um, Plato gonna be a bit supply blocked, but yeah, so far we're seeing just a gateway cybernetics core gas opening, just typical typical stuff. And uh, Reactor is going to be going up on this first barracks, and uh, Corinthos is going to be going for a quick second racks as well. And meanwhile, you see his SCB uh, uh, in the main of Plato saying, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm going to take a break because I work too darn hard, and that is what I'm going to be doing. But the Protoss are not quite so forgiving. Uh, the probe did uh, get waypointed until its death. And as I'm seeing right now in, in uh, Plato's vision, he does not know that second barracks is going up. Indeed, he does not. That second barracks hidden up here in the uh, top left corner. If only, if only Plato had an overlord, but unfortunately he does not. This could be a very, very quick game one if Corinthos is able to take this to some 2-racks pressure. Uh, it doesn't appear as if it's going to be 2-racks pressure, simply because he did put down the gas and he does have the reactory up, and he's getting the tech lab. Yeah, so it, it looks like, like he's just going, going to go for some really early tech. Perhaps. And lots and lots of marines, I'd say. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we're seeing in the workers, uh, it's relatively even, 20 to 18, mules sort of even that out, but Chrono Boost, mm -hmm. with Chrono Boost you kind of expect the Protoss to be a bit ahead, and yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the Chrono Boostage, uh, but then again, Terran does have mules, so let's see how well he employs those mules to equalize that inequality. We're seeing uh, Concussive Shells go up for Corinthos. And a Nexus coming up for Plato. He's going to be getting a, doing a quick one racks fast expand. He's getting his third, uh, second and third gateways up as well, and warp gate just finishing up for him. Indeed, uh, one racks fast, fast expand for the Protoss player, as you said. <laughs> uh, uh, he he is putting down his second and third gate after the expo going down. Uh, He's just going to sort of uh, chill by these rocks with his stalker. No need to knock those down. Just sort of watch them. Make sure they're not moving. Because rocks that move are not good. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like when you watch that 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 gold league game, and yes, I am that gold league game when I play Terran on the ladder <laughs> and I decide to stim up and kill a building, and everyone everyone with a brain is just like, oh my god, why is he, he is stimming? putting on pressure? He's moving out a nice army of nine He's marines, out, two and marauders, and two SCVs. Two SCVs. We're gonna see some bunker pressure, maybe. Or maybe just uh, SCVs to absorb damage. We do see a lot We're of that. We're also seeing a, pro a proxy pylon here by Plato. So if this fails, if he holds us off, he will very, very easily be able to go for a quick counterattack with Warpens near to the base. That SCVs is tanking true. that damage early on. And the Marauders will probably turn toss to goo if this isn't micro, probably. 
Uh, Karinthos is going to pull back, though. Probably, but I would, I would say that two Marauders is not quite enough to handle those, uh, those Stalkers. No it's a very high Stalker count, not something that Karinthos can see coming. And Karinthos out. is going to be counterattacked upon Plato warping in with what that pretty close pylon. Brilliant way, time to place a pylon, a proxy pylon over there. Uh, but at the same time, uh, um, that, that Marauder count will be going up for, uh, for Karinthos. The I bunkers are going up. Be surprised. He is pulling SCVs off the line, and he is going to be master pairing these bunkers. Uh, 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 he doesn't have – there are no sentries, which means that these, these bunkers will be repaired easily once they come up. But will it get that far? It looks, it looks like, like that first bunker is going to be down, crushed it's, pretty easy. No. It's going gonna, it's gonna to finish, and the SCV is going to get – And the bunker goes down and, relatively quickly, but the other bunker but may end up saving Corinthos will save the game for Corinthos, I think, because uh, those two SUVs are repairing it. Finally, the sentry there, will he be able to get that money force field blocking the repair? A second Doesn't bunker is going, like going, going to be able to quite yet. One and thing to stay. notice, Sean, Plato has 12 workers killed and a massive worker lead. I think that it could just be a waiting game. Uh, at this this point. Is He's throwing up a Twilight Council. Will not harass me because I will poke at you and contain you, not letting you to get around the map. Indeed, he's just going to continue warping in units here at this little, uh, at this nice, nicely placed proxy pylon, and his supply lead is almost double Corinthos's. Mm-hmm. It is, and uh, oh man! Second bunker going up. Nice force fields, not allowing the repair. In that uh, that repair, but, but there are three but, three SCVs able SCVs to repair. Front, and I think he should be focusing down the SCVs instead. I felt like. He lost a lot of. Definitely, uh, I feel like Plato lost a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot more units than he needed to in that engagement there, and, uh, and as you the can units see, lost Plato's, Plato's supply actually is twelve less, ten less than it was like thirty seconds ago. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Corinthos has exactly the same supply he had, or actually four more at this point. Corinthos is going to be throwing down a factory, and he's just going to continue getting those guys. He's trying to expand behind these bunkers. That orbital is going to be. Hopefully giving him some extra mulage. Double factory coming up from uh, Plato, who's going to be trying to get a nice little upgrade lead. Nothing from the Twilight Council so far, though. Indeed. Uh, nothing from the Twilight Council. What, what are we going to see? We are going I to lied! See Dark Shrine! Bam! Whew. And uh, it's going to take a money scan for Corinthos to uh, scout this. Uh, of course, he does actually have the energy uh, uh, as of now. Let's see if he can get that scan exactly right. Um, myself, I am going to go into the vision of Corinthos. You go ahead and cast anything that I can't see. Sounds fine. Uh, yeah. It looks like after after Plato's been um, after Plato's pulled back those armies, Corinthos, uh, his army, uh, Corinthos is going to come get rid of that proxy pylon. But there is another one here at the fourth. So mm -hmm. he's keeping that probe up there as well. So he's going to be able to just sort of put that pylon right back where it left off. He hasn't been making any more... Oh, well, actually, I lied. There is a racks up, a third racks up. And he's going to be putting a reactor on this factory, so we could be... And the starport's coming up, so we could be seeing some Hellion drops in an attempt to equalize that worker count, in which... And that is, that is exactly what he's going to need. Uh, I think, honestly, like, I wouldn't be surprised, maybe, to see him research a little blue flame after he starts those Hellion drops. And he is lifting off, so it looks like we're not going to see those Hellions. Instead, we're going to see that factory used as a scout and he's going to be getting like he's probably Metavax. Be those Metavax. 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 MMM, very very strong unit composition against Terran. I mean against Protoss, I'm sorry. But uh, we are also going to be seeing gateways 4, 5 and 6 coming up for uh Plato and he does have 3 DTs moving into the base. And he's going to be splitting yep. them up so that the scans will not be able to hit them all, but bam, that missile turret in the front is just able to see them. He does get away without dying though. Wow, 4 health on that Dark Templar. And it's going to start <laughs> taking things out pretty nicely. He might be able to nice. snipe one more Marine. And he does get the Marine. Wow. Nicely he played by him. He get the Marine. Gets the most out of that that he could with that missile turret. Very, very nicely placed. Although and, uh, that very well placed turret does, uh, does sort of deny the, the, the value of these Dark Templar. And it, I feel like he's going to have to morph, morph those into Archons or use them in his main army, hoping that uh, his enemy does not get Ravens, uh, which it looks like he's not going to. Um, he isn't getting a starport as of yet, and uh, another starport as of yet, and his current starport is still on a reactor, so he's still going for that medevac play. Doesn't look like he's going to be going for that Raven like he did 
in his previous series. However, he is uh, getting a Ghost Academy, and as we know, you can actually make cloak units uh, visible for a couple of seconds with a well-placed EMP. So true. And there yeah, is a drop moving out here for Corinthos. Two medevacs full of units, but there's a pylon that's going to be placed at this expansion, and will Plato be able to see these two medevacs before they move? That, that is a very absolutely. good question. Uh, it's a little bit uh, of a countdown. The probe is getting close. Where? Oh, he might be able to see it. Let's just go into his vision. Will he see the Medivax? No, they're out of vision. He will not. Oh, but then he flies right over the over the pylon. Oh, he's it's, gonna unload and take out that he pylon. Probably there was a bit of a priority there, and uh, uh, I guess that's just sort of the choices you have to make and the decision making. I think it might actually benefit him in the future. His army is totally split up, and he's moving half of his army up towards the front. And I feel like. Oh, Plato's morphing in a lot of DTs, ma making them into those lovely little Archons. And he's loaded these Medivacs back up, and he's going to be dropping them back with his main army. Meanwhile, nice I'd like strong. to point out that... Uh, uh, Elevatoring up into the main, there's an engagement going on at the natural of Plato. Indeed there is, but there's uh, the small problem here is that the ghost count... Uh, uh, there is no ghost count. And uh, he's not getting those ghosts out, and he is not, uh, 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 he's most certainly not uh, uh, getting that upgrade lead, because he only has one engineering bay. Meanwhile, uh, uh, meanwhile, Plato here at his main has been upgrading, uh, upgrading away, 2-2 two -two about to finish, and his, all of his bio only on a pathetic 0-1, and that is really, really going to, to be really bad for him in any engagement that he tries to pull up against the Protoss. Especially with those like incredibly powerful... That may be impossible to come back from. Especially with those incredibly powerful Archons that do bonus damage to bio units. I feel like that could end up being... He's getting 3-3 three, three very, very early. Plato doing Indeed. very well with those upgrades. 3-3 three, three has... is on the way, wow. and I feel like once that 3-3 three, three finishes, he's just going to push out and punish the heck out of Corinthos for uh, not for letting him be so greedy. Next is going and, down uh, at the third for Plato, and there is going to Bobby's be a... Uh, Bobby's reactor going down, uh, which is incredibly important. Definitely, the additional uh, energy for the ghosts is going to be but very, very saying. important. Uh, we're, we're seeing the third finish up in the base for Corinthos, but he's going to be slightly behind on his expansion time. Actually, no, I lied. They it might be able to get to that third right around the same time that, um, that this Nexus finishes up. Also, two medevacs moving out next to the side, uh, by the side of the map once again. Mm -hmm. Just sort of chilling there for now. But uh, he's putting up pylons really everywhere on the map. He's going to be ready to morph in things wherever he pleases. DT sitting at the third as well. It's really good. It's always great to have that, cross map, that vision across the map or around the map. Uh, especially when you know that you have such a good lead over your opponent. The worker supply 67 to 45. That is just like, that is humiliatingly high. And 97 over 87, not 99 over 87, definitely a lead for Corinthos, but once you once you take into account, look at that infantry armor level 1 going down for Corinthos. He has to get that second engineering bay down. There's no way that he can come back in this, in this game while his upgrades are at 1-1 under 3-3, which is about to finish for Plato. And upgrades, so darn important in PvT. So important. It's about upgrades and ghosts and overall macro and just handling those fights. But like when you have those upgrades and those ghosts, uh, you can really dominate your Protoss opponent, but when you have this bad of an upgrade disadvantage, those ghosts are not going to save you, dude. One of the things that I've noticed, though, and that we've seen him play this play in the other games, that his multitasking is really, really stellar. And um, one of the things that we've noticed from Corinthos today, which is one of the big, big differences, is that his multitasking just isn't as stellar. He's got these medevacs that are just sort of sat there for ages that he could have been using, but he's too busy concentrating on trying to get rid of all these DTs. Which, that said, Plato is forcing some... Uh, a lot of scans. We've seen three scans forced already to take out those DTs. Very, very cost-effective in a way, as each of those is worth, what, 660 minerals in mulage? Uh, sorry, uh, what, which is, is worth how much in mulage? How much does a mule mine? Uh, a mule mine's three times as much as a regular work. Yes, so that's how much has been wasted in those three scans that were forced to take down those DTs. Yeah, and that's, that, that, that is substantial. I mean, that's like, uh, you're getting, you're making Every you make, uh, I, I always compare uh, Terran, uh, when I talk about balance, I always talk about Terran mule versus scan as, as a win-win situation, but here it's a lose-lose situation because you have to catch up in mining, or you, have to, you either have to fall behind in mining, or you have to let DTs take out your base, and that is really, really, really a poor situation for a Terran player who's let himself fall behind to the extent that there's really, like, I'm struggling to see how he comes back. We're seeing this, uh, 
Thermal Lance about to finish, Colossi, our, uh, one Colossus is out on the field, a second Colossus about to pop, and we're seeing a maxed out Plato army, with the exception of five food. And Corinthos, with his level one, uh, level two upgrades, just mm -hmm. far too far behind. He's, if if, if Plato pushes out now, he'll be hitting him with 2-1, and he'll have 3-3 three, three Thermal Lance. Bonus damage against Bio, and I just do not see how Corinthos is going to be able to hold this. If he pushes out now, uh, and uh, and yeah, that that's definitely that is definitely true, uh, uh, especially considering um, uh, the the upgrade advantage that Plato has, which is why I think he's making quite a bit of a mistake here. Uh, he is allowing two two to actually go nearly halfway, nearly actually nearly a third of the way done. Sean, we're seeing we're seeing Corinthos going to be caught completely out of position on the other side of the map. This army is moving in to take out his main, and these guys are just nowhere. This massive bio ball is completely on the other side of the map. These two medevacs oh seem goodness. to have been forgotten. That's 16 supply worth of units that aren't going to be used in these medevacs, and this bio, this this absolute this death ball could just absolutely roll his entire base, one shotting the bunkers, like, killing I cannot, everything. I cannot see. I cannot see that. But if that if that bio ball were perfectly placed, it is still only on one two, and this is a three three ball with shields upgrading. When shields are upgrading, you know you're ahead. And and this this bi, this protoss. The natural ball, expansion goes down. There's, I really don't see Corinthos, even if he had perfect bio ball placement, I don't see how he could have held off this attack. I, I see I a GG in the very, very near future. I think we're going to see 2-0 for Plato, and we're going to be going to a third and possibly final game. I think you mean 1-0. Is, is this the first game? I think it is. I think we're going to see a quick 1-0 <laughs> and going to a second, possibly penultimate game. Very, very nice, uh, very, very nice, uh... Ghost EMP there to take out as many of the shields as possible, but this just isn't gonna work. Going Too to many zealots enough. just tearing apart the space, and the, this drop just not doing enough. DTs and zealots just zealots. following those. So many uh, able to clean that up. doing so much damage, and he's barely going to hold it off. But at what cost? Look at that, and he's just l look at this. Uh, you've got Plato, and he's pulling probes to send to his fourth, and he's easily going to remax, and this is just going to be. Pressure after pressure, you see another Level small two shields. Ball going to pull back, going to remacro, and just going to take a ridiculously huge uh, army and worker lead. And of course, he was able to take out two or three barracks, which is going to severely impair Corinthos' ability to remacro as fast as Plato will. Plato already at almost double the supply of his opponent, and I, I only see that gap growing wider as the main is mined out, the natural yeah. is no more. He's on and one mining base. Level two researching. Oh man! I mean, like when you see when you see shields level two researching, you know there's something there, there's there's not there's not an equilibrium in the game, especially not considering that the ground units of Terran are at two two, yep. and uh, that's just a, on it's it's a really hard to bridge gap, and I would I would be amazed to see Corinthos make a comeback in this Definitely, game. he's sort of scouting around looking for that hidden expansion because he's wondering. If Corinthos doesn't have a hidden expansion, why is he still in the game? So he's just sort of looking around. Corinthos, of course, not done till he's done. Will be trying to build as many barracks as he possibly can in his main, getting those lovely, lovely upgrades. He's got five guys that, mining out of this gas oh right my. now. Look, when and when you look at oh. the planetary fortress, it does 49, 49 damage to the proton, 39 damage to the proton shields. That is such a small amount of damage for a big explosive missile shooting planet. I would like use. to notice something, Shashank. Yes. We're seeing one mi one guy mining out of this gas, five guys mining out of this gas. Corinthos is just getting sloppy. Oh, poor Corinthos. Uh, I I know that you're supposed to have six workers to each two gas, but that's not exactly how it works, Corinthos not going really well for him and Plato just easily going to be able to kill a bunch of workers and he's going to sacrifice these stalkers because he, he's denying so much mining time he's denying way more than the stalkers are worth in mining time holy oh, wow. cow this is actually not even kind of close uh, 47 workers killed to 20 180 supply to 71 pushing out with another huge ball immortals, okay. colossi, archons, zealots Stalkers, all the upgrades in the world have oh, been researched. Yeah. Four more DTs going to be warping in as well. Ah, I just don't when, see this any well a, for a When you have a fully upgraded Zealot charge lock... And the engagement's coming. Well, here Colossus. comes the engagement. Going to stim in and how many seconds till they die, Shashank? Any bets? 
And there's the GG. GG, Corintos like, is going I, to be out of this game. Thank you very, very much for uh, for tuning in, and we'll just bring you the next game right away. I am Penguin. Straight into game two, guys, and I am Sean.